Hi you guys, welcome to the Beauty Revival where we're inspired by home and the people in it. My name is Brittany and I write the blog thebeautyrevival.com and I also run the Instagram account the.beautyrevival. So in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys my latest Ikea haul. Now I live in Grand Prairie, Alberta, and that is about four hours northwest of the closest Ikea. So when I say my latest Ikea haul, I mean that I ordered these products online and I was willing to pay shipping for them. So these are my favorite things to get from Ikea. I needed to replace some of them and I needed to pick up a few more of some other things. So I'm excited to share with you guys what my favorite things to buy at Ikea are and what I like to use them for. All right, so my first product that I grabbed online at Ikea is actually my favorite, favorite, favorite thing to buy at Ikea and it might surprise you. It is their liquid measuring cups. So they come in two sizes. This one holds four cups and this one holds two cups. And I love these. I not only love them for actually cooking and baking with because they're really thin, they're not that bulky, um, really heavy, hard to store measuring cup. They're just really nice. The handle, the feel of them, everything just makes baking and cooking more enjoyable but I also love them for styling in my photos. So I take lots of photos for my Instagram channel in my kitchen, and I like to have cute cooking and bakeware, bakeware to use in those photos. And I also style photos for my husband's and my side business. Well, it's our full-time business, but I do more of the blogging and Instagram and stuff, decorating and stuff from home while he is at our um, shop building wooden home decor and furniture and things like that and I take photos for all of our products and put them on Etsy and I like to use these measuring cups because they're so pretty in when I'm styling photos for our cookbook stands and things like that and the only downfall of these are that they are so thin that you can break them more easily than one of those thicker measuring cups when you're tossing them in the dishwasher so I actually dropped one on the floor the other day my little one so i had to replace it and then i cracked my other one i've had these for quite quite a while but i cracked the other one in the dishwasher because i wasn't careful and i landed something on it so that would be the only negative but they are so affordable that it doesn't really matter right, so since i needed to order some more liquid measuring cups i thought i better stock up on some other items since i had to pay for shipping from ikea to come to um, my house. So the next thing I grabbed were two sets of these little um, drinking cups. Now, I loved the cute design on these ones, but I often get my drinking cups from Ikea. I like that they're glass and they usually have lots of really pretty and unique colors or designs that you can change out. But my kids and um, my husband and I, we use these for drinking all the time. They're really small so they're perfect for kids um, and like I said they're glass which I prefer to a plastic cup and I also love their selection because they look really good if you have open shelving like I do and I need to store all of my dinnerware cups and everything out in the open I need to make sure that they look good but again I don't want to spend a ton of money on them because they might be something that I change out or that breaks because the kids are using and these are super, super affordable. I'm going to leave links for everything that I'm talking about in the description box below as well if you're interested in any of these products from Ikea. And then since I was grabbing those and I should say that those and these are glass and they all came um, not damaged, so that was awesome. I wasn't 100% sure how that was gonna work out but none of them were damaged. So since I knew I wanted to grab some more drinking glasses and the liquid measuring cups, I thought I better stock up on my absolute favorite thing to buy from Ikea and that are, those are fake plants or faux plants if you're in the decorating world. Um, I love their selection more than any other place. So I actually grabbed one of my absolute favorites. I think this is supposed to mimic a um, string of pearls succulent. I'm not 100% sure, they never really say, maybe they do online actually, what they're supposed to look like, but I get questions about this plant in particular on Instagram, 
and my blog all the time asking what it is and if it's real. It's not real, it's fake, and I use them in, again, all of my product photos for Revival Goods, as well as my lifestyle pictures that I share on Instagram for the Beauty Revival. It's getting caught in my hair. <laughs> um, and this one's my absolute favorite. So then I thought I would pick up, yeah, I only grabbed two more. I thought I would pick up a couple of these and then two new fake plants to me. I had never tried them. And this one is so cute. I went for some trailing plants because I've realized that's what I'm kind of always leaning towards when I'm taking pictures lately. So I thought I would grab a couple little ones that I could use in my product photos. So this one is super cute. Let me show you. It's not really full, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna show you how I style these in a second as well. And I really like the look of the leaves and everything. That was a really cute one. And then this one, I'm interested <laughs> to see what it looks like. I think you're supposed to be able to hang it if you wanted to. I, I would never, I would never hang something like this. Maybe you guys can make it look good, but I would cut that off and I will pop this into a little basket and see if I can make it look somewhat presentable for a photo. Um, yeah, it was the wild card. I'm not 100% sure how I feel about this one. The leaves are really pretty. I do like the colors of them, but it seems like really disheveled and it might be hard to make it look good, but I'll see what I can come up with. So yeah, those are some things that I love to grab that are affordable and great for um, decorating your home, using in your home, as well as taking pictures if you're like me and you're a blogger or on social media or taking photos for your business like I do on Etsy. Those are some great products from Ikea. I think I only paid 20 bucks to ship them here um, and the shipping does go up on Ikea. It's not like a one rate uh, for shipping, but they're definitely worth it because like I said, they're all really affordable and something that I can't find easily where I am. So I hope you guys enjoyed my Ikea haul, my mini Ikea haul, I guess I should call it. And we would love it if you followed along by hitting that subscribe button. Like I mentioned, you can also find me on the blog, thebeautyrevival.com and on Instagram at the.beautyrevival and Pinterest at thebeautyrevival as well. Thanks guys. Have a great day.